Okay, I don't even know what this is. It's got a rhinoceros on the cam. Hey everyone, welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today we have a very special edition. We have something I know nothing about. Basically nothing about other than what I've seen on the can. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to film this. And then I'm going to go back and when I edit it, I'm actually going to put up titles. Hopefully they explain what the hell's going on. Uh, so, first of all, this is apparently called Larutan Peniegar. And then it says SB. And it says something in, I guess that's Arabic. Um, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> And it's like a quote, so it's a quote in Arabic above. So it's maybe, who knows, it's something from the Quran or something. It's halal. It has rhinoceroses in it, maybe. I hope not. Um, but let's talk more about the greens later. Uh, so yeah, I got this in Indonesia. I'm in Indonesia right now. They had this in the drinks section. Mind you, the drinks section, it's, it's, you know, it's a can, it's cold. Um, it's rasa melon, which actually apparently is honeydew. And they have a picture of a honeydew here. So, okay. They actually had more than one flavor. This one looked like honeydew or melons or something. It had melon in it. Okay, let's try that one. But then what is it? It's got all this bahasa on here that I can't figure out. The company name is Cindy or Cindy Booty. Cindy Booty Sentosa. The URL is Cindy Booty. Cindybooty.com. Um, yeah, so Cindy Booty Sentosa from i guess that's the manufacturer okay so now the question is what is this? this is a honeydew flavored drink is it actually made for rhinoceros horns is it some sort of aphrodisiac well it gets even weirder so in bahasa they have the ingredients and uh, bahasa indonesian is influent it has a lot of loan words i'd say from uh i guess dutch or something i don't know where it comes from but anyway the number one listed ingredient is gypsum florisum so gypsum like as in that whatever that is that mineral that they put into like drywall is that the number one you know and they make like boards out of it and stuff um so that's the number one ingredient with the uh, 10.4 grams i'm gonna take my glasses off so i can read this getting old um number two ingredient is cornu antelopis Okay, so um, it's got antelopes in it, antelope corn horns, maybe, but that's only point, so it's 10.4 grams of gypsum, which would be like 3% of this thing, I guess. Um, it's got 0 0.064 grams of antelope cornu, and antelopus, cornu antelopus, okay, and then it has calcicreous spar, cal Calcareous, I don't know if that's calcium or something, 0.4 grams. And then then, then it says, let me get, make sure you guys can see this. Um, then it says, the I think what's the real ingredients in order of amount, which is refined sugar, awesome citrate monohydrate, which I don't know what that is, parisa melon, so that must be the melon flavor, and aqua de mineral aid, 320 milliliters so that's the rest of the can i guess i have no idea so okay that's weird it got gypsum in it it's approved by jamu which must be like the halal food group or something i don't know what um but yeah it's got refined sugar it's got gypsum and antelope corn cornu maybe um but then it gets weird because then it has a bunch of other bahasa, but then in English it says, and this is the only English on it really so far, except for honeydew, it says, indications and usage. The preparation is a traditional medicine helpful for reducing body heatness, such as sore throat, gingivitis, and refresh the body. Okay, so now, this is where the little pop-up things go. Okay, sore throat, I can see you have like inflamed something on your throat, maybe this helps soothe it. Maybe you've got an infection. Maybe this helps. Anti-inflammatory, perhaps. Gingivitis. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, which I will if I am. Gingivitis is some sort of like gum disease or something related to your teeth getting plaque on it or something like that. Not. I can't see how that would help 
be related to the thing that helps sore throats and refresh the body okay so refresh the body is kind of kind of ambiguous i guess it could just be helps hydrate you gives you some energy some caffeine maybe um and then it gets weirder still so not only i reducing the body heatness and helping to fix my teeth but then it says recommended consumption adults one half to one can three times daily so does that mean i have to drink three cans a day all the time or only when i have a sore throat which i guess by the time you drink the third can it would go away maybe uh but then what about my gingivitis if i drink three cans a day is my gingivitis going to disappear how many days does it take how many cans am i going to go through to cure my gingivitis um it doesn't actually say it cures it, it says it's helpful okay so anyway and then for children one quarter to one half can three times daily so they want kids to drink one and a half of these a day um or perhaps one three quarters a day but yeah that's kind of weird so it's not just a soda it's a medicine and it's a medicine that you have to keep taking because it's helpful for reducing heatness anyway hard to open the can too so um i brought a cup a glass i should say um in order to pour and it is clear so gypsum apparently is clear i wasn't sure what would come out of here actually but i guess it didn't say anything about coloring so perhaps that's the pure unadulterated gypsum so yeah i think the question is how much sugar actually oh, there's like stuff floating in here it must be the gypsum you can't see very well but there's like it's not bubbles it doesn't seem to be carbonated it seems like there's actually maybe that's air because it seems to be less now but it was like very fine dots that were just sort of suspended or maybe that's all settled down at the bottom maybe if i get to the bottom of the glass there'll be gypsum at the bottom i don't know yeah there's still stuff in there so anyway i don't know if you can see you probably can't see oh yeah you can see it there so that's some of that is bubbles on the glass i guess yeah on the edge of the glass anyhow let's give it a smell doesn't smell like rhino at least i don't think so doesn't smell like gypsum taste is mm, i want to say lychee but that might just because i just drank a lychee drink in the same glass i did rinse it out though is there lychee in here is it honeydew i guess it's like a really really weak honeydew not that honeydew has a super strong flavor but yeah i guess it's if i had to pin it down honeydew i guess some sort of melon which i guess is in the ingredients right parisa melon so here's the question parisa melon versus rasa melon right and it's parisa as in p-e-r-i-s-a not r-a-s-a so it's a completely different word so i don't know what a rasa melon versus a parisa melon is again i'll have to put up the title which you would have seen by now so anyway i'm gonna give this one a. I don't know is my hey i kind of have a sore throat anyway so let me see if this helps if i drink the whole can all at once is that enough or do i have to actually space it out three times a day i should gargle it so anyway i really don't know what to make out of this thing it's apparently some sort of medicine slash beverage i guess that's a good scam right it doesn't have to actually deliver on the medicine if you can call it a beverage and it's not just an average beverage it's a beverage that you can convince people it's good for them if they drink it and then you tell them to drink it three times a day so good scam here by the la rutan pengi or rhino honeydew drink company yeah so um i'm gonna have to leave it on that i got to give a final thought i don't know what the sugar content is it actually doesn't break that down so i'll have to skip that part so uh, one interesting thing to note, I just noticed when I looked back at the uh, ingredients is it actually says refined sugar in English. Like it doesn't say it in Indonesian or anything. So I guess everybody just calls it refined sugar. 
Um, anyway, I have to give a final thought on this one. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty at a loss because I don't know what it actually is. So I'm going to say La Turan. Oh, wow. I just noticed this. Because my screen is, um, is reversed because I'm doing a selfie cam, it actually is the word natural backwards. Holy <laughs> And what is this then? Ragiemnip. Natural. Wow. So now the question is, is that a huge coincidence? Or is that like some guy typed it wrong <laughs> and it just got stuck? Okay, so it's natural whatever. Ragienep um S P or Epsi. Okay, this is really confusing. And I know also Arabic they read the other way, so um I'm just totally at a loss. Okay, so rhino juice honeydew flavor um you're way too fucking confusing for me to figure out so go away <laughs> uh yeah so i'm very open-minded i guess not really um i don't think i'm gonna try the other flavor maybe next time i probably will okay so anyway that's it for today i've been talking way too long <laughs> more than this can deserves uh see you guys next time this is my last drink actually not really my last drink but second to last drink that i've got i probably will save the other one um, put it in my suitcase. So I'll see you guys next time here on Obscure Cola. Um, yeah. Tuning out from Bali. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today we're going to try Coca-Cola Apple. I'm here with my son. He's in Japan. Just got this at a family mart today. Apparently Coca-Cola...